Hello and welcome to Money Matter Stocks. Financial planning cannot be said to be complete without a will being made. Will is an important aspect of estate planning and in turn financial planning process. Today we have with us guest of the month, a legal expert, Ms. Mayuri, who is a practicing prosecution and litigation lawyer at the Bombay High Court and Company Law Tribunal. She is also a domain expert for will and estate planning and today she will shed some light on making a proper will. Over to you Mayuri. Thank you for your lovely introduction Amul. Friends, before we start, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Money Matters Talks. They are on a mission to spread financial awareness. I personally follow them for sharing valuable information related to finance on their platform. Coming back to today's topic. Making a proper will as a part of estate planning. Mrs. Mehta decided to set up her will when she found out how straightforward it can be. At 60, she was worried to hear what could happen to her estate if she did not make a will. Her friend told her that without a will, the savings and possessions would be distributed with no regard to her wishes. It was upsetting to think that her heirlooms might not get them as per her wish. Your will reassures loved ones that they are respecting your wishes after you die, which can make things easier for everyone involved. You need to keep in mind the following important aspects while making a will. A properly written will also helps avoid disputes. Badly drafted or outdated wills can cause arguments among the loved ones and these disputes may need to be resolved only by a lawyer. You will and you should remove any doubt about anyone you want to benefit from your estate and help avoid further stress for family and friends at an already difficult time. Your will also outlines who you want to leave your property for, money and your possessions as well. So you know that everything goes to the people you care about. Wills also protect the assets that make up your estate for future generations. Isn't that interesting? A well-structured will can ensure that assets are kept within the family and are passed on. You can also use your will to outline decisions you would like to make, such as your funeral preferences. Firstly, you need to understand what is meant by your estate. This is everything that you own. Your house, your possessions, your bank accounts, pension, insurance policies, your car, jewellery, artifacts and collectives. Every asset that you own when put together becomes your estate, particularly once you are dead. Every adult needs a will. It won't actually do anything until you have passed away, so be rest assured. But waiting until just before you die is not an estate planning strategy since no one knows the precise time of his or her death. There is never a situation where dying without a will makes sense. Hope making a will in the right way makes more sense to you and you don't wait for doing the same. Thank you all and over to you Amor. Thank you Mayuri for educating us on the importance of making a proper will. Well, as Mayuri mentioned it, making a will is a major part of estate planning. But estate planning also includes having a proper power of attorney, setting up a trust, assigning the right executors, witness and beneficiaries as per your need and requirement. Remember, even though making a will is a small part of financial planning, your financial goals and investments can go for a complete toss if you are not around and on top of it, don't have a will. It will leave your near and dear ones struggling for their own lawful assets. In nutshell, firstly, you need to have a financial plan in place with your goals defined and your investment map to it. And lastly, making a will to ensure proper execution of your financial plan even in your absence. Thank you.